All right, our heart-shaped plastic ring just arrived. This is the package it usually shows up in. Let's take a look. Well, yeah, it's plastic. It's kind of a rough feel. It's very solid and the the heart shapes seem to have come out pretty well. Looks looks exactly like the uh, model. And I measured it for my my ring finger and yeah, it fits. Fits perfectly. Yeah. Oh, that came out really well. So if you ever wanted to print one for a friend and you didn't have much money, you have a budget, you have to keep your cost down, you could print something in plastic with a, something like a heart or something else cut out in it and you won't have to uh, take a loan out to get it. Yeah, their printers did a good job. Our bolt ring came in as well, and this one we printed in uh, a bronze steel, so it wasn't too expensive either. I think it was $19, and yeah, that is solid. It's kind of got a rough feel to it, but it's not like the plastic. It's definitely smoother. And it is definitely made of steel. Uh, the bronze look to it kind of gives it a uh, an old look to it, but yeah, all the detail printed out nicely. And I measured it from my ring finger, and it fits perfectly. So Tinkercad's uh, CAD tools definitely uh, sync well with the Shapeways 3D printers printed exactly so yeah it's a cool ring you know for someone just starting out I'm sure people out there could probably do a much better job but at least you know the basics and how to start and how to go from Tinkercad to Shapeways and create something that's uh, pretty cool and you can print this in stainless steel silver gold gold plated nickel plated it's uh pretty much uh, the whole gamut of all the metals that you might want to print in. So either way, you could pretty much find something to uh, print your favorite ring in, and I think you should do it. Take the knowledge that you learned from this video and go print yourself something. Thanks for watching, and if you like what you see and you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe.